First up, I have muffin batter, and this one costs $12.49 for a 6-ounce slime. It's a wood glue slay slime. So, it's slay means it has a slight amount of clay, and it's a really unique texture. I feel like there's a nice blend of different clays in here, and it's not something I've ever really felt before, which I was really blown away by because I have felt many different slimes. <laughs> the color is a nice yellow, and the scent is delicious. It's a nice blueberry scent. It reminds me of one of the slimes I purchased from the slime hive this is an awesome squishy puffy slime that i highly recommend if you want something unique and different because this is definitely not a texture i have felt before This one is strawberry shortcake and it was also $12.50 for a 6 ounce slime and it had these really nice foam beads on top as well as sprinkles. I think they are like a muffin shape or a little strawberry shortcake shape. It was so cute and I love the colors of the foam beads. They're very vibrant and gorgeous. It's a really nice semi foam and I love the scent. I really like the base texture. It's just a nice plain white and everything really works amazingly together and I think that this is a really great combination for a strawberry shortcake slime. The base was a bit sticky so I added some activator but overall I really love these bubble pops. Wow guys it just sounds amazing and it's so much fun to poke and play with and squish. I really love this glossy, nice slime. It's a good, not basic slime because it has that base slime, but it also has those extra femos and the foam beads on top that make a really nice initial crunch. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the video, as well as comment down below what your favorite slime from Momo Slimes is. Next up, I have lychee fluff, and this one was, again, $12.50 for a 6-ounce. It's a really nice and soft clay slime. It's super creamy and fluffy and inflates. When it inflates, it feels really puffy. Again, not similar to the first slime, muffin batter, at all. It's a really different type of fluffy slime. The color is a gorgeous, gorgeous white. I think this slime would look really nice with a cute little lychee charm or some lychee female slices in it or something like that, but that's just a personal preference. I tend to like other things with my white slimes or um, colored slimes. I like little charms and different things, but that's just a personal preference. Also, this scent is to die for. I love this lychee scent so much. This slime, as well as lychee slush, which I'll show later, are both scented lychee, and I don't know where they find this scent, but I need it in my life. Now it's time for the souffle slime, which is an awesome DIY clay slime that is so much fun. I didn't add the uh, cornstarch on top because I don't love the sound of that personally, but I did add it to the lava cake slime, so stay tuned for that. But I did add the gold foil to this one. It's so pretty. It has a brown clay layer on top, and there's gold leaf like I said as well. The base is, again, a wood glue slay slime, which is really unique because I don't see many wood glue slimes anywhere. I, in fact, haven't actually made a wood glue slime before, so that would be so much fun to try out. The end result of this is a butter slime that is closer to a clay slime, I would say. It wasn't super thick, and it was a bit sticky to mix, as you can see, but the scent is also really nice. It's a scented butter cookie, and mm, it just smells delicious. Also, I forgot to mention, but this one was $13.99 for a 6-ounce, but it did expand and inflate a ton.
Next up is Momo Slime's most iconic slime that everybody knows and loves. It's Lava Cake. I totally forgot to add the little fake chocolate sprinkles on top. I am so sorry about that, but I did add the powdered sugar. It is scented like a delicious brownie scent. I love it so much, guys. And of course, it's a DIY clay slime. That's what Momo Slimes is known for, for me at least. That's what I think of. And they make really great DIY clay slimes. I highly recommend you guys check them out if you are interested in that type of slime. It's a nice, really rich, dark chocolate brown color. And I really love playing with it. The powdered sugar is such a nice touch on top it's cornstarch but um it's supposed to be powdered sugar <laughs> and it's really satisfying to mix and play with as you can see the bottom was so glossy so thick and then when you mix it in it becomes a really really nice slay slime that's so smooth and it just smells delicious as well i know i've said that before but it smells so good that i need to say it again Here is one of their newer slimes. It's Kiwi Jelly, and it's a really thick jelly slime that has some black glitters, and uh, there's also some Fimo slices to represent the kiwi uh, slime. It's scented like kiwi, of course, and it's not my favorite scent out of all of them, but I do like it. It's pretty refreshing and uh, nice, but it's not my favorite out of all of them. The color is a very vibrant green, and it is a jelly texture, like I said. This one, it's, it's thick once you activate it, but I always am unsure of when I should activate jelly slimes and how much I should activate them, so that's probably my issue. So I felt like mine was a little bit um, thinner to start, but once I activated it, it became much thicker and more fun to play with. I am totally going to butcher this name, but it's called Harajuku Icy, I believe, and it was $12.99. It's an icy slime that is scented. I'm not really sure. I can't really detect the scent, or not detect, but I can't really recognize it. I'm not sure. It smells nice, but I can't tell you the name of the scent. I just can't really figure it out, but if you guys know, let me know down below in the comments if you guys have bought this slime before but it's a nice scent i totally recommend it if i can't even explain the scent sorry but it smells good <laughs> uh it's an icy slime like i said and this is a bit of a thicker icy slime a lot of the ones i play with tend to be thinner but this one fe felt a bit thicker and it does leave quite a bit of residue but that's all right with me i expect that with icy slimes also, this one was so pretty before and after it was mixed. Like, I love the pink and yellow, and this orange color is so pretty. Now it's time for honeycomb and i bought this one because the cubes really intrigued me so the way i know to play with these slimes is that you're supposed to get as much uh slime out of the cubes as you can and then they're really crunchy and the cubes did not break at all which i found really cool and i didn't love this honey scent it was a bit flowery for me i tend to like the sweeter honey scents but that's just a personal preference 
and I did have to activate this one quite a bit, but that's perfectly all right. It's clear slime, and I totally expect that. The little bee charm was so adorable, and this slime was really fun to squish and play with. Here is lychee slush, which smells delicious. I love this lychee scent so much. I need it in my life. Oh my goodness. It's a mix between a jelly and an icy slime. It's like in between. It's neither of them, but both of them at the same time. I don't, I can't explain it. It feels really cool and it's a bit of a thinner texture, I would say. And the color, it's a transparent lychee color and the texture like i said i can't really explain it you just have to see it it fluffs up a little bit once you start playing with it but originally it feels like a jelly slime but even when it fluffs up it doesn't fluff up fully like an icy slime would so it's still a jelly slime and i am just confused with the texture but confused in a good way because i like it there's also some really cool little yellow i'm not really sure what it's made of i think there are strips of sponge but i'm not 100 percent sure This one is Ariel's Collection, and again, uh, similarly to the honeycomb slime, it did come melted, but I activated it, activated it, if I can speak, I am just tumbling over my words to get them out. It's a new slime that Momo Slimes has just released, I believe, and it's a clear slime with some really gorgeous pearls and iridescent glitters. It's not scented, and I got the six ounce slime of it, and this texture is really nice. It's a nice thick slime once you activated it, and um, I have let it sit, and it cleared up really nicely. It's a really, really nice clear slime. Now, for the slime you've all been waiting for, the Cinnabon DIY Slime Kit. I love Cinnabon so much, guys, and this one made me crave them because it smells just like cinnamon. It came with a handmade little clay cinnamon roll that was so cute, and it didn't dry out at all. It was really easy to squish and add into my slime, even easier than the DIY clay slimes, actually. The, the That slime... It, it, those they did mix in but they were a bit difficult to get it fully smooth but this one was not hard at all to smooth it all out it came with a little one ounce uh, frosting container and it had a white slime that was scented like cinnamon rolls and that was in a five ounce and then it also came with an extra eight ounce deli container to store the slime in after it was so cool to mix and decorate. It created a, such a nice fluffy clay slime. And this slime is honestly so unique and creative. It's probably the most creative slime I have ever come across in my life. I can't believe that this held up over shipping and I was able to mix this together myself. I had so much fun squishing this and mixing it all together. The scent is delicious. It's going to make you um, crave cinnamon buns. It smells so, so, so delicious. I actually bought a cinnamon bun slime after this. I'm um, not slime, an actual cinnamon bun because it made me crave slime, um, cinnamon buns so much. I'm tumbling between cinnamon and slime, but yes, it also made really great bubble pops as you can see it's such a nice texture it's so unique afterwards i wouldn't say it's fully a butter slime it's more like a clay slime probably and it's it's like a fluffy clay slime definitely and it's really fun to squish and get these bubble pops out of it
Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more slime videos from me, as well as like the video if you want more slime reviews. Comment down below shops that you would like me to purchase from, as well as your favorite slime from this video so I know what textures you like to see. If you want to learn how to make your own slime, I have tons and tons of recipes in my book, Ultimate Slime. The link is down below if you would like to purchase it and make your own slime. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep creating and I will see you all next time.